So I'd like to show you now my Christmas tree in the house. The 1970s naff tree that I love. Are you ready? It's be Not yet, Dad. So oh, yes, I love these kind of ornaments. They remind me so much. Especially these bells. And these sort of lights. Look at those lights. Oh, that's a good shot of lights. Those are lights that remind me of Christmases of old. And this is a heart I bought Tina in 1988. And this is a little pink teddy bear from 1988 from Alfbach in Austria. But yes, so this is the Christmas tree. Look at those lights. Oh, these baubles, these sort of baubles. These sort of, uh, these glittery naff things. I do like. We've also got another naff thing that's a bit older than our children. Bought from my first shop, Scribbles. It's Tinker the Name. And our children have seen every every Christmas Eve I used to put them out for them. So that they would there be there when they came down on Christmas Day. And we were going to not put them up this year. And then we said, please, you've got to put Tinker the Name up. And that also is Teddy Edward as well. Teddy Edward has stopped working. But Teddy Edward is also another one that comes out every year. He's out, he's out earlier this year. You've already seen the Father Christmases, but we'll give you a quick span. There's the Father Christmases. Jolly old fella. Bit overboard, I suppose you could say. There we go. There we go over here. We've got a, uh, these lovely light up naff pictures. Scan across there of a few things and some more naff pictures. I love the story about those, and this is the North Pole up there. I'll take that side now, follow me. Um, what I love about those things, those pictures, is that it's a blackness to it as well. There's a dark story to them. If you want to find out, just look in, in, into the history of Thomas Kincaid. Thomas Kincaid was the artist who did them. And uh, now we're into the traditional Christmas again. Now, when you come in here, oh, the smell. God, you could just smell in here. It smells absolutely gorgeous. But this is the, uh, this is the, the middle class. Now, I am, and you'll all be saying, <laughs> I am nowhere in my middle class. But it made us laugh um, a couple of days ago when we were foraging for, foraging, that was the word I was looking for, a couple of times ago. When we were foraging for, uh, for the actual ivy and so forth. Um, I actually, we, we came, we collected it, drove back here, we all was in here, all on the table was all the, the ivy and there was all three of us was in here putting them up and decorating and listening to, listening to an album of the brass band from, um, from, can you see here, I say? It's the um, camera, Camerford band and it was a beautiful brass band playing all carols and so forth and then we went in to, for, for, for lunch Tina, Tina had made some soup and Emma had made some bread the day before and I said who aren't we middle class <laughs> but um, I think there's a little bit of uh, both but to prove that I'm not look at that good god they say, yeah, you're not middle class, you've got a false fire. It's a, sh it's a cabin, it's a shed, let's be honest. So anyway, I'm waffling. So that's, uh, that's the Christmas look for this year that I've shared with you over the last couple of uh, times. Um, hopefully going to share it with family, as, uh, by the looks of it. I've got a few other things I'm doing. I'm going to set up my... I'm going to set up my Lego display. Don't tell Playmobile. And I'm going to put them in this cabinet here. So uh, my, my Lego display will be set up there. That will just, just bring a little bit of naff into this room. But the nice thing about it is, of course, is that, I hope you can see me, by the way, because I haven't turned on the main light. Um, hopefully, uh, you obviously won't be able to see it from this ambiance as you stand here, or we sit here, with the lovely Christmas view. <laughs> oh, yeah. You might be able to see now. So, anyway. Yeah. I am waffling now, so it is time to say goodbye.